Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As many of you are well aware, we've been running free online card game events for language learners all over the world since April of 2023, and it's been going really, really well. I don't intend or hope or wish for that to change. I think it's so much fun. In fact, I was planning to take August off just to relax a bit more, travel a bit more, and I wanted to pause the games, but, and I was seriously considering to do that in the month of August, but I just couldn't. Now I'm thinking to just keep the games running as usual, even though I, I, I could use a break. And the, the reason is because it's just so much fun. I love meeting different people and I love helping people to meet each other and everybody feels more motivated and, and encouraged to learn their target language. But through all of my experiences doing this, one thing has become obvious. We need to find a way to, moot, to add into all that we're doing some paid for plans or paid for um, series of online gaming events so that we can get more serious about what we're doing, play more frequently, help people stick to their goals and retain their results over months and years. The way that we're doing things now, well, it's helpful for a lot of people because they can jump in for free, it's very low risk, they can try the game, they can experience some results, but I think that if we made it a little more formal in terms of having a payment system and having regular events, more frequent events, then um, it's going to help people to really understand the benefits of language gaming and help them to retain what they're learning during the games. So in today's video, I want to sort of sow the seeds for this idea that I have and tell you why I think it's important. Obviously, we need to walk before we can run. Maybe this isn't something that can happen real soon. It depends how much the players really want it and demand it. But I, like I said, I want to start to sow the seeds today and explain to you why I think uh, we should do this. And if you're really interested, if you like the idea, if you'd be willing to pay for frequent game events and get together a group with more serious people, then I want you to reach out to me languagecardgames.events at gmail.com. Okay, so the first reason is I want to create more frequent events. One of the current limitations that I'm facing is I'm putting a lot of time into running the free online game events, but I'm not earning any money from it. And that's okay with me because I love what I do and I love to help people. But I'm thinking if we're going to host more events, more frequently, on different times and days, then I need to start making sure that I'm fairly compensated for my time and the other hosts or expert native speakers of the target languages in the room are adequately compensated for their time. So this would help us to lock in and create more frequent events, and that in turn is going to help the players to have more opportunities to play more frequently and retain more of what they're learning in these game rooms. The second reason is we can start to uh, develop groups which are more reliable, which have players that are more engaged and more serious. I think right now, uh, not a lot of people are like this, but definitely a considerable number of people are like this. Uh, they think it's okay to arrive late or not show up at all. So sometimes I invite people and they agree to come. Sometimes they reach out to me and say they're excited to come and they want to be in. And then in either case, sometimes these people, they come later, they don't show up. So I think that really hurts the aims of the group and hurts the progress and the results of the group. I think if we made it a paid for thing, and again, the payment doesn't have to be very much, but if we get people, people to put a little skin in the game, then that's going to help to hold them accountable. And they're going to know, oh, I paid, you know, 10 bucks to uh, get into this game and uh, I can't be late. I can't miss it. You know, I, I paid something for it. So that's something that I would help to, I, I think would help to make this whole endeavor a bit more serious and focused and committed. Um, point number three reinvestment. So if we can earn more money through this, if I can pull in more money, I can use it to reinvest into creating better games, 
better game events, better and more study guides. As you know, we have study guides created for several different languages that support the games. Well, those require professional translation and editing. So I'm thinking if I, if I don't pull in any money from what we're doing, it's hard for me to make it better, it's hard for me to scale it, because I'm limited in the sense that I can only put in my own pocket money, so to speak, on the games, so things proceed much more slowly, and it's hard to make them as good as I want to make them. But if people put in money, and I reply in kind with more value, it can create a positive cycle of results from the games to the game events to the players retainment and beyond number four is something like i mentioned at the beginning is compensating the host um, and also myself so i spend a lot of time recruiting players reminding players to attend following up with players to see how they enjoyed the game trying to get them to come out to the future games that takes a lot of time sometimes i'm the host sometimes not Sometimes I spend a lot of uh, time trying to find a great host or a great high level or native level speaker of a, lang of a language, teaching them how to teach the game or play the game, getting them into the room, stuff like that. So there's a lot of work going on be behind the scenes to make this run really, really well. And I think if I may toot my own ho horn here for a moment, one of the reasons why this has gone as well as it has since April of 2023 is because I'm a super consistent individual and I just don't miss. We've had about 60 or 70 official games for over a year now and I was right by the computer for every single one. If I wasn't hosting, I was sort of uh, just standing by in case there were any problems. That's how committed I am. If, the, if, if another host besides me had any problems, I would step in and lead that game. So people don't even understand there's backup plans for backup plans. There are redundancies here. And the reason why I do that the way I do that is to help make sure I always deliver consistent value on schedule to the players. And so far, we've been doing this all for free. Imagine what we could do if it was paid for and we were actually earning some money for it. I believe we could bring everyone to their next level together. Think about what people may pay for a language learning app that they use by themselves, or a textbook or a tutor. Let's talk about tutoring for just a minute. I've researched the prices of tutoring in recent months, like one-to-one -one tutoring for a target language. A lot of quality tutors, I'm not talking about people who are younger and less experienced just getting started out, but a lot of quality teachers and tutors who are at my level and Surma's level and Sinan's level, hosts like we have in our games, they're often charging $25, $35, $45, $45, not even for a one hour session, but maybe for like 45 minutes, or in some cases, even 30 minutes. And the price could come in down a little bit if you buy a package, but not by much. So if you want one-to-one -one tutoring, it costs quite a lot of money. Now we have quality hosts and teachers in our rooms and you're getting to converse with them for a solid hour, sometimes a little over one hour. I mean, that's an incredible opportunity. So here's what I'm thinking. Let me introduce to you what I'm thinking the prices would be. And I've written a blog article about this so you can find this at the website, languagecardgames.com. But I'm thinking plan A, you get 50 Saturdays for $10 a game. That shakes out to be $500. Might sound like a lot, but keep in mind, it's for the whole year. You get a year of language gaming once per week. And you wouldn't have to pay that all at once up front, I think. I think we could maybe do half up front, half in the middle of the year. Plan B, 20 Saturdays, that's about five months for 250 USD. Shakes out to be about 12.5 USD per game. Plan C, 12 Saturdays, that's about three months, 200 USD, it's 16.7 USD per game. Plan D, four Saturdays, it's about one month, 100 USD, which is 25 USD per game. 
Plan E, one Saturday at 30 USD. So 30 USD for one game. So that's, you can see what I'm trying to do is build in a way that coaxes people to commit to coming out every Saturday or most Saturdays for many, many months. If we can do that, we're gonna develop a synergy in what we're doing between the players and the hosts. When you come out the very next Saturday and you're playing along and you forgot something you learned the last Saturday, the hosts and the players are gonna be like, come on, we talked about that last time. Don't you remember? We learned this and you said this. That's really gonna be good for your memory and your progress. Now, you might be thinking, well, you're running the free games, I just wanna join in the free games, that's enough. Well, that's fine, but sometimes the free games are full. We're not doing limitless numbers of free games. And the free games are just, the lists for those are just gonna keep growing and growing and growing. So a paid for plan, if you enter into that, that would place you a cut above. You'd be sort of like a VIP member who gets access to greater value. Uh, so that's what we're, we're trying to do here. Now, <coughs> a little bit about what you can expect. I mean, I would suggest you come out, join a free game at first so you can experience it. But if you haven't experienced it yet, here's what you can expect. Every game lasts for an hour. Every game has an excellent trained host who knows the game and is great at working with people. Every game will have a native or high-level speaker of the TL in the room. You will be sent reminders for every game in advance at predictable set times. Your progress will be tracked on the homepage of our website. You'll be able to receive prizes like any other player. I'll support you on social media if you're on social media, especially X where a lot of our players live. We, re we retweet each other's language learning posts, so I'll be supporting you there. And if you experience any lapse in quality or service, I'll refund your money for that game where you experience a problem and I will work very hard to fix the issue or improve things. What about the game time? It's probably going to be on Saturdays around 9 a.m. East Coast time USA. That's the time that's been working best for us so far. That's the time that we usually do. And the reason is because that's the best time for me to always be available as a backup. This is Saturday evening time for me in China. So that's kind of why we're doing it. But there is the potential, if we get into these paid for plans, I can be flexible for certain groups. So if we're able to get together a group for a different day and time and it works for all of us, we for sure can do it. I'm open to that. The last thing I'll say before we wrap up is I think we have a great opportunity here to get into this soon with Turkish, if anybody wants to do this for Turkish language, because Sinan, who is an amazing teacher, very smart guy, of course a native Turkish speaker, he told me he's willing to do it every Saturday if we want to. So he's standing by. So we just need players to commit, we just need players to have that drive. I think I've shown my good nature. Uh, I've proven my trustworthiness and my reliability for over a year now. You can see all that we've been able to accomplish. Imagine if we put some money into the hopper, how far we can take this idea. My ultimate goal is uh, not to put pressure to, on you to do something that you don't want to do, but to put a little bit of pressure on you uh, just to grow and always think about how we can do things better how we can make that incremental progress. Okay, but that's it for today's video. You can learn more at languagecardgames.com. I have a new blog article uh, I just put up uh, at the end of July about this topic. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye for now.